Hello, my name is Ed Boyle, a cardiothoracic surgeon and co-inventor of the Pluriflow Active Clearance Technology System to prevent chest tube clogging and retain blood for patients recovering after heart and lung surgery. In this segment of our technical tips series, we will discuss the management of clot on the clearance loop. In the process of clearing a chest tube, clot will be removed and may be seen adherent to the clearance wire and loop. This is normal and should be expected during the post-operative bleeding period. The buildup of clot on the clearance loop does not usually interfere with normal drainage to the suction canister. Recall that the device is parked with the loop completely inserted into the chest tube. This puts the loop past the drainage eyelets along the side of the tube, leaving a clear path for blood to enter the tube through these eyelets and be removed by suction to the drainage canister. This allows free flow of shed blood in the chest through the eyelets to the open lumen of the chest tube, which is patent to the drainage canister. Clock can also be seen noted around the magnets, which drive the clearance loop back and forth. Again, this does not normally interfere with the normal drainage to the suction canister. Frequent actuation helps break down clots and minimizes this issue. This is because as the pluriflow system is actuated, this further mechanically breaks up clot, which is removed via suction to the drainage canister. If you wish to facilitate breakup of clot from the clearance wire, there are a couple techniques you can employ. You can gently squeeze the clearance wire through the chest tube while advancing the shuttle. Remember not to squeeze the loop, which may bend it out of shape and damage it. To dislodge clot from the magnet or loop area, you can flick the chest tube or the guide tube around the area where the clot may have built up. Never use a clamp on the wire or loop. Rapid movements of the wire backward and forward may also help dislodge the clot. Remember the objective is to clear the clot into the larger guide tube. When the clot has been broken down, and removed, replace the clearance loop into the parked position. Keep in mind, more frequent actuation of the device helps minimize clot on the guide wire and loop. Under extreme circumstances where there is excessive buildup of clot and there is concern that drainage is being obstructed, consider replacing the pluriflow system. This can be done without replacing the existing chest tube portion. Remember, Pluriflow is a clot clearance and prevention system to remove clot from the chest tube to maintain flow. When there is clot, you will see it on the loop as it is removed. This device will not stop surgical sources of bleeding, which may still require a take back to the operating room to control, a decision that is at the discretion of the surgical team. In summary, seeing clot on the clearance loop and wire is normal. When needed, you can employ these maneuvers to help break it up. More frequent actuation may help minimize this issue. In rare circumstances, this may require replacing the clearance apparatus so you can start with a fresh clearance wire and loop while leaving the existing chest tube in place. If you have questions, please consult the Pluriflow Active Clearance Technology instructions for use, contact your local sales representative, or visit clearflow.com.